I'm Gwen Smith. I'm a wife to Brad, mom to Preston, Hunter, and Kennedy. I am an author, which is crazy, and a speaker uh, for Christian women's events, co-founder of Girlfriends in God. I'm also a songwriter and a worship leader, and, and God has me very busy. Um, years and years ago, though, God started to work in my heart about being willing to go to difficult places. Um, and one of those was the, the story that is in my past that is always going to be a part of who I am, and that's my abortion story. So when I was approached about participating in this project, which is purpose to bring healing and hope to hearts that have been wounded by abortion, part of me wanted to run because I knew it was going to be hard. But um, most of all, I was honored and um, humbled that the Romans 8.28 thing, you know, that God can bring good from something bad really gets to be magnified in a project like this. I did attend a post-abortive retreat that helped to bring me to a place of healing. One of the things at the retreat, one of the parts of healing that was so amazing to me was that we got to name our children and have a memorial service. And um, we get to write them a letter. And um, in heaven, I believe that I have a beautiful daughter that awaits me and her name is Ava Catherine. I got to name her. Um, and when Steve and I talked about the songs that we were going to write for the project and the one that I co-wrote with him, um, we were talking about restoring dignity and acknowledging the validity of this human life that um, was cast aside in, our, in my abortion choice. And so we wrote a song called Your Life Has Made a Difference. The chorus goes like this. And so I give you a name. I light a candle in your honor. I will share the things you've taught me and help others find their hope. I will tell the story of a broken heart set free and in everything I do become a witness. Your life has made a difference. That's what this project is all about. It's about helping people find healing, find their hope again, to experience a restoration that is deep on heart layers in places, in secret places, that God has just been waiting, waiting to meet them in. So I hope that you will consider backing this project and um, joining us in prayer as we expect the Lord to move in deep crevices of hearts to bring healing and hope.